Hey guys! In today's video, I wanted to explain to you why I use and recommend the email marketing platform ConvertKit. If you're new here, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and I put out new tech tutorials every Tuesday and Thursday to help you grow your online business. So if that sounds good to you, make sure that you hit subscribe. All right, let's get started. So whenever I recommend tech tools to you guys, it's always going to be tools that are easy to use and intuitive. And that is exactly what ConvertKit is. So the first reason that I love it is their subscriber organization. So if you go into ConvertKit and you click on subscribers, you'll see that I have all these different tags down here. So I've been able to tag people based on whatever action they've taken. So whether they've signed up for a freebie, for a masterclass, they've joined a course of mine, all of this is easily organized right here. So then I can go into a subscriber, I'll just use me as an example, and I can see everything that they've done. So here are all the tags, here are all the forms they've signed up for, and I can see their email history as well. And if I hover over these little circles here, I can see whether the email was opened or whether it was just delivered. Um, and whether they clicked on anything within that email. So you can get a ton of information about each subscriber. You know, a little creepy, but also kind of awesome. <laughs> and this gives me so much information into what's working and what's not. Reason number two is that it's extremely easy to deliver any freebies. So if you're blogging, then it's a good idea to have freebies that you give in exchange for an email address. So this is otherwise known as opt-ins, lead magnets, or content upgrades. Okay, wow, that's a lot of names. <laughs> but ConvertKit makes it easy for you to have as many of these as you'd like and deliver them in a second. So here's what it looks like when it's on my site. All I had to do was copy paste something into Squarespace and it's going to give me this beautiful form and this is going to deliver the email freebie. So in ConvertKit, you would just click on forms, click create form, form, and you have a few options for the different looks. So for now, let's just keep it simple and choose this one. Okay, and then I would go to settings, and then incentive email, and I could just deliver my freebie right here. So rather than having this be confirm your subscription, I could change this to, oops, download now, and you can upload your freebie right there. So couldn't be any easier than that. The next reason I love ConvertKit is because of how easy they make it to set up an automated funnel. So this is basically a set of emails that are sent out automatically and do the eventual selling of your products for you, all on autopilot. So whether you want a challenge, mini course, or just a bunch of emails, you can do this easily and control when they're sent out. So to do this, this is called a sequence in ConvertKit. And I'll show you my five days to a DIY website mini course. So if you go in here, you'll see that I have all the emails planned out on the left side here. Okay, and then on the right side has my email content ready to go. So it's super easy and I can control when it's sent out with this section right here. So this one goes out immediately, this one goes the next day, the next day, the next day, et cetera, and that can be whatever you want. And the best part about ConvertKit is that you can have as many of these as you want, and it's really just nice and clean and well-organized, so yeah, I just love the back-end system. All right, so the next reason that I absolutely love it is that I email the right people. So when I send out an email to my entire list, I can use the tag feature to make sure that only the people that I want to receive the emails actually do. 
So in ConvertKit, your campaign or your general email out to your list is called a broadcast. So I'm just going to click New Broadcast. And hopefully with this behind the scenes look, you're seeing you know, just how clean and simple it is and you just know where you need to click, which sounds so simple, but not all programs uh, do that for you. <laughs> so right down here, I'm deciding who I want to receive this broadcast. So I can, rather than sending it to all subscribers, I can take that away. I can add my filter and choose subscribe to a tag and then I can select only people that have signed up for that specific action. So as you can see, it's updated the subscriber count and only those people with that tag will receive this email. Then I go to my next step, which is content, and write my email right here. So the next reason that I absolutely love ConvertKit is the automation rules. So this means that I can tag people based on different actions that they take, which, you know, again, is taking organization to the next level. So if I go over here to rules, you'll see that I have all these different action items set up. So for example, if someone completes this sequence, build your own website, they're going to get the tag took free seven day course. So there's so many different things that you can do with this. So to implement this, you would go add rule and you set the trigger. So you can, the action item can be that someone subscribes to a sequence or to a form or they go through an entire sequence. And this is pretty awesome. This is one of my favorites that if someone clicks on a link, I can tag them. So uh, that can be really beneficial. And of course, add your tags. So often I will do that if someone is subscribed to a specific form, then I will add a tag, letting me know that they took that freebie. And my next reason, Wow, this is really a love fest on ConvertKit, but I wanted to give you all of the reasons that I use it. The next reason is the analytics. So I'm just going to show you an example. Um, so what I can do is click on this email here, and when I click into it, I'm going to see my stats. So how many people received it, what my open rate was, my click rate, how many people unsubscribed, and then down here is really awesome. I can see how many people clicked on each link within my email. So having this information is pretty next level. And this applies not only for broadcasts, but I can also get this information for my sequences and my forms as well. The next reason is this little button right down here, which is resend to unopens. So after each broadcast email that you send out, you can see who didn't open your email and resend to just those people with the click of a button. And finally, the last reason is this button down here, 24 seven live chat support. The uh, support team is so helpful and available to you 24 seven in case any issues come up, in case you need a reminder of how to do something. Uh, so I really appreciate that they have that level of support. So those are just a few of the reasons why I use and recommend ConvertKit. If you'd like to give it a try, I'll leave a link in the comments and you can try it out with a free 14 day trial. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you will be switching to ConvertKit or if you're already using it and you love it too. If you have any ConvertKit related questions, just leave them for me in the comments below and I'll either answer you there or create another video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you hit subscribe and I'll see you guys soon with another video.